ASML, Amot among firms that sold record $26 billion chip equipment to China through July. According to government data compiled by Bloomberg, China continues to import semiconductor equipment at a record-setting pace, with most orders coming from older generation machines. Due to its criticality in enabling advanced industries such as artificial intelligence and supercomputing, semiconductor equipment has become one of the most scrutinized industrial machinery in the world. This has led to sanctions against China by the U.S. due to American concerns of U.S. origin technologies being used to harm American national security. These restrictions have forced China to buy older equipment in order to keep pace with its domestic demand for chip products. Chinese chip manufacturing equipment imports set a new record for first seven months of calendar year. Today's report comes a month after ASML's earnings report for the second quarter, which shows that China was its largest customer for the second consecutive quarter. During Q1 and Q2 2024, 49% of ASML's shipments were to China, which is a marked difference from the shipments during 2022 and 2023. In 2022 and 2023, 14% and 29% of the Dutch chip manufacturing equipment makers' sales were to China, despite the fact that in Q3 and Q4 2023, 46% and 39% of the shipments were to the same country. As per the data gathered by Bloomberg, China has bought roughly $26 billion of chip manufacturing equipment through July to set a new record. The previous high was in 2021, when the Asian country had bought $25 billion of equipment during the same time period. Among the list of firms that sold machinery to China are ASML, U.S. Equipment Manufacturer Applied Materials and Japan's Tokyo Electron. U.S. Chip Sanctions on China Alt with CH have accelerated under the Biden administration, have also created friction between the private sector and the government. Some of the tightest restrictions have seen the government prevent U.S. citizens or permanent residents in the companies working in China and ASML, with applied materials reportedly facing multiple criminal probes for evading the Chinese sales restrictions. The booming sales have also meant that the Netherlands is the largest exporter to China for wafer production equipment categorized under the HS8486 heading. Due to the U.S. restrictions, ASML is unable to sell its latest extreme ultraviolet UV, machines, which are essential for making the most advanced chips, including those used in artificial intelligence computers. UV machines are suited for these use cases since ultraviolet light has a smaller wavelength than traditional machines. However, it is possible to make advanced chips using older machines, provided manufacturers can use multiple design layers via masks during the manufacturing process. This increases production time and complexity of the operation, and another way to reduce these drawbacks is to have multiple machines running simultaneously. U.S. sanctions against China have also covered the older UV machines, but these are limited to a handful of factories. Amidst a news tightening, China has tried to keep at par with global chip manufacturing standards, but its progress is stunted. Despite the media hype surrounding Chinese tech firm Huawei's Ascent 910Bi chip, which purportedly competes with NVIDIA's A100, reports have suggested that yield problems mean that only one in five chips meets the required quality criteria.